Humane Society here in Kentucky does quite a bit of stuff for our community, and a lot of people really don't know exactly what they do. So the Kentucky Humane Society here actually has quite a bit of programs in its system that allows not just the adopting, but also for those who have animals pre-existing. So the animals, if you have any, they have different programs set up. So if you want, they have a veterinary clinic that offers free affordable prices that if you live close, I think that it's in Lexington. And you can take your animal there to the vet and then they can help you with any kind of problems that you're having. They also have different programs, including like dog training as well as pet grooming. So all the proceeds that come from these programs go towards the Humane Society in Kentucky and helps the animals get homes as well as provide food and shelter for them. <coughs> all right, so the Humane Society isn't just adopting of cats and dogs, they also have horses. And a lot of times too, there's fostering programs involved as well. So in these fostering programs, we have to have people come in and that are well suited and have enough, have enough land for these animals especially if they're horses, so that they can take care of them. And the fostering also helps support the community. And the Kentucky Humane Society also helps to fund quite a bit of the fostering that goes on here. We also have the American Humane Society, which has been in service since 1877. They have been promoting animal welfare as well as the safety of animals. The Humane Society also has, has no longer puts down animals. A big thing that was going around a few years ago was that the Humane Society, after a long time of being in the adopting system, they would put their animals down and that they would no longer be up for adoption because they were euthanized. This is, no tr this is not true and hasn't been true for quite a long time. A lot of the animals, they'll just stay in the system or they'll go into the fostering program and then whenever they are done with their fostering, they'll eventually be adopted. Quite a bit of the fosters actually will take them in as adoptions too. So. That's something that really isn't put into play anymore is the whole euthanization thing. The Humane Society also allows their animals, I know the National, the National Humane Society works with different movies and shows, and a lot of the animals that you see in these movies and shows are ones that are in the Humane Society and aren't adopted yet. So these animals that are in the Humane Society that are in these movies, them being in these shows and movies allows them more likely a chance to be adopted. And this just, it just really promotes the Humane Society and its cause. A lot of Humane Societies are nonprofit, so they have a whole bunch of donating things. I know everyone sees the ACPCA commercials online, especially during the Christmas time whenever it's cold out. They always see the commercials of the dogs freezing. And they really push for people to make donations. These donations go directly to the Humane Society and helps these animals get homes as well as shelters and food. If you ever go to a zoo and you see the Humane Conservation Program's Humane Certified logo, this is just the Humane Society at its best. The Humane Society also <coughs> helps with con conservation in the wild. So they take these animals in the wild that their populations are pretty low, and they take them into zoos or aquariums or conservation programs, and they take them there in order to reproduce. And then whenever they're older, or a lot of times too, they're injured. So they'll take them in, rehabilitate them, and then they'll set them back out into the wild. This just helps these animals' population to grow more so that they will live further and then they'll prosper. The Humane Society works fully with these aquariums and zoos to help the animals and only the animals. So a lot of people too, I know PETA is a big, they're big in trying to take down zoos, say that they're bad, that these animals aren't taken care of. They really are. A lot of these zoos and aquariums, like I said, they're partnered with community society and that they're taken care of. I mean, these animals are just being neglected. They aren't imprisoned. They're there for rehabilitation a lot of times. So they like to really make sure that a lot of these zoos and stuff have those logos so that you know that these animals are protected. They aren't there against their will. They're there thriving. Another humane society is the National Humane Society, which I had mentioned before. Um, it's very important. They have the big donations. They have a lot of raffles going on a lot of the, throughout the year, and I know they have one going on now with cars. So you can buy a raffle for a car, and all the donations go towards the Humane Society. So if you were to buy a ticket, you could win a Porsche, a Corvette, Tesla, Cadillac, Range Rover, as well as.
yourself in Mercedes Benz. So these are just kind of incentives for you to go and make donations for the Humane Society as well as help these animals in the community. Now a lot of people really don't understand that the Humane Society is such a huge contributor to our community and its well-being. And that's just something that we really need to get to know.